Hello everyone! Welcome back to another learning session with me, Mam Cha. For today, we will be discussing commonly confused words. So I will be discussing four pairs of commonly confused words. So we have accept and accept, advice and advice, affect and effect, and then allowed and allowed. Okay, so in this video, hihimahimayin natin kung ano yung pagkakaiba nila at paano sila gamitin. Kasi kung mapapansin ninyo, pareho sila ng tunog plus ang spelling nila hindi rin naglalayo. So, let us begin. Okay, so our first pair is accept and accept. Okay, when we say accept, it means to receive or in Tagalog, tanggapin. Or, another definition of accept is to believe that something is true. Or, paniwalaan na ang isang sinabi sa iyo or isang bagay ay totoo. So, we have here the sentence, I accept your gift. So, ginamit yung word na accept to express na tinanggap mo yung regalo na binigay. So, again, the meaning of the word accept is to receive, tanggapin. So, another example is, I accept your explanation. So, ano naman yung ibig sabihin nun, di ba? Another definition kasi is to believe that something is true. So, ibig sabihin, naniniwala ka doon sa explanation. That's why you accept the explanation. Next, accept means to exclude or to leave out. In Tagalog, hindi kasale, puera. So, I have here a sentence. I'll give you all my baseball cards except for the Mickey Mantle. So, tatagalugin natin, ibibigay ko sa iyo lahat ng baseball cards ko, pwera lang ang Mickey Mantle or hindi kasama yung Mickey Mantle. So, yun yung ibig sabihin ng the word accept. So, makikita natin yung pagkakaiba. Pag sinabing accept, tanggapin, paniwalaan. Pag sinabi natin accept, hindi kasama or pwera. Okay. So, I have here two sentences. So, alin kaya sa dalawa dyan ang dapat gamitan ng accept? Ano naman dapat gamitan ng accept? So, try ninyong sagutan. Kahit na isipin nyo lang kung ano yung sagot or pwede nyo kayong mag-scratch. Alright. Number one, everything was great blank for the meatballs. Number two, you need to blank Responsibility for your actions. So, alin sa dalawang yan ang nag-express na tanggapin at alin naman yung nag-express na dapat hindi kasama. Okay. So, tingnan natin kung tama yung inyong sagot. Okay. So, for number one, everything was great except for the meatballs. So, for number one, the answer is except. Kasi ang ibig sabihin nun, lahat lahat okay, kaya lang, pwera lang. I mean, pwera lang sa meatballs. So, except yung ginamit. Next, number two. You need to accept responsibility for your actions. So, accept ang ginamit para express na kailangan mong tanggapin yung responsibilidad o yung responsibility para sa iyong mga ginagawa. So, yun yung pagkakaiba. So, titignan mo lang kung ano ba yung gustong i-express ng sentence para makapili ka kung alin sa dalawa yung dapat gamitin. Okay, next. The next pair is advice and advice. So, pareho sila ng tunog. Pareho sila halos ng spelling. Ang pinagkaiba lang is the letter C and the letter S. Okay, paano malalaman kung alin dyan ang gagamitin mo? So, napakasimple lang. So, advice... With the C, is an opinion offered as a guide or it is a recommendation or suggestion. In Tagalog, payo. So, ito yung ibinibigay sa'yo. Ito yung payo. Ang ating sentence ay, my advice is to study before test. So, ibig sabihin, yun yung payo. Ano yung payo? Ano yung advice? To study before test. So, yun yung binibigay. Advice. It's a noun. Next, pagka yung isa naman, advice, it is the action of offering an opinion as a guide. Okay. So, yung kanina, advice na C, yun yung ibinigay mong payo. 
Pag sinabi naman na advice na S, ibig sabihin, yun yung act or the action of giving an advice. So, yung isa, yun yung biningga. Yung isa, yun yung mismong the act of giving it. So, example, I advise you to study before test. So, ibig sabihin, binigyan ka ng advice, binigyan ka ng suggestion, binigyan ka ng recommendation. At ano yung advice na yun? Yun yung to study before test. So, makikita nyo naman yung pagkakaiba niya. Yung isa, payo. Yung isa naman, yung subject yung mismo nagpe-perform nung giving of advice. Okay, so, tingnan natin. I have another sentences here para sagutan ninyo kung advice or advice ba. Again, ang advice na C is a noun, yun yung mismo binibigay, and then advice na S is yung mismo act of giving the advice. So, alin sa dalawa ang dapat nyong gamitin? Okay, try yung sagutan. Alright. So, let us see the answer. Number one, the answer is, I need your advice on which car to buy. Advice na C, ang sagot kasi, advice, payo. Kasi kailangan ko ng payo mo kung ano ang sakya na bibilin ko. Iba pag tinagalog mo, malinaw na malinaw. Ano yung payo? So, payo is advice with the letter C. Ito naman sa number 2, my teachers advise me to attend summer classes. Dito naman, ibig sabihin, nagbigay. Merong action na nagaganap. Nagbigay ang teachers ng advice. Or nag-advise sila. So, nakikita yung pagkakaiba. Yung isa, payo. Yung isa, yung mismo ak action ng pabibigay ng payo. Okay. Next is affect and effect. Ano yung pagkakaiba? So, when we say affect, means to influence something. Maka-apekto in Tagalog. So, we have here the sentence, He affects me strangely whenever he winks at me. So, kapag kinikindatan niya ako, naapektohan ako. So, yun yung ibig sabihin ng affect. To influence something. Merong, e merong epekto. Nakaka-apekto. Next. Effect means a result or to cause something to happen. So, ito naman yung epekto na sa Tagalog. Okay. Example. Your wink has the strangest effect on me. So, sinasabi niya dito na may epekto sa kanya kapag kinikindatan siya. Pagka naman sinabi natin, naka-apektohan ako pag kinikindatan mo ako. Yun yung effect. Kasi, parang may nangyayari sa'yo. Or sabi nga rito, to influence something. Pagka naman, sinabi nating effect, ibig sabihin, ano yung nangyayari sa'yo? Ano yung epekto? Kagaya nga rito, yung pagkindat. O, naapektuhan ka, tapos ano yung epekto nun? Okay. So, let's see. So, another sentence. Sagutan ninyo. Subukan. Number one, his study habit has a good blank on his performance in school. Number two, the dog's death will really blank his owners. So, alin sa dalawa ang dapat gamitin? Alin dyan yung nagpapakita ng mismong epekto na at alin naman dyan yung nagsasabi na nakaka-apekto to influence something? Okay. So, let's see kung tama ang sagot. Alright. Number one, his study habit has a good effect on his performance in school. Bakit effect ang sagot? Kasi gusto mong i-express na yung kanyang study habits ay mayroong magandang epekto. Pinapakita mo na mayroong resulta, mayroong magandang nangyari dahil sa kanyang mga study habits. So, effect ang ginamit. Number two, the dog's death will really affect his owners. Gusto mo namang i-express dito na Yung pagkamatay ng pet or pagkamatay ng aso, nakaka-apekto doon sa may-ari. Okay, next. The last pair is allowed and allowed. So, ano yung pagkakaiba? When we say allowed, means permitted to happen, pinapayagan, pwede. So, example, the child is allowed to stay up late on weekends. Ibig sabihin, or in Tagalog, 
pinapayagan yung bata na magpuyat kapag weekends, pwede. May permission. Okay. Pag sinabi naman nating allowed, it means out loud or loudly or audibly. O kagaya nito, yung sinasabi ko. Loudly, audibly, or out loud. Alright. Example is, read your papers aloud to hear your mistakes. So, pag sinabi natin, read your papers aloud, basahin mo ng malakas. So, kasi di ba pag nagbabas tayo, meron tayo yung silent reading, yung mata lang. Pag sinabi natin aloud, ayan, yung talagang sas babasahin mo siya ng malakas. Okay. So, tingnan natin kung kaya bang sagutan yung susunod. Alright, number one. She left blank at his reaction. Number two. I'm not blank to take you anywhere. Alin dyan ang nag express ng permission, pinapayagan. Alin dyan yung sasabi na kailangan ay malakas or audible. Alright. So, let's see the answers. Number one, she laughed aloud at his reaction. Aloud kasi tumawa siya ng malakas. Yun yung gustong i-express. Pag ginamitan mo naman niya ng isang aloud, she laughed aloud at his reaction. Walang sense. Lagi naman ganun eh. Sa, sa pagkoconstruct naman ng sentence, itingnan mo, may sense pa ba to? Barok ba to? So, kapag ka napapansin mo na ganun, ay hindi okay yung sentence. ba? Diba? Next, number two, I'm not allowed to take you anywhere. So, in Tagalog, hindi kita pwedeng dalhin kahit saan. So, hindi allowed. Walang permission. So, di ba, pag sinabi niya kasi nating allowed, ay pinapayagan or may permiso. Alright. So, nakita niyo yung pagkakaiba-iba nung bawat salita na yon. So, although pareho sila ng tunong, pareho sila halos ng spelling, magkaiba sila ng function, magkaiba yung ibig sabihin nila. Ang kailangan lang malaman mo kung kailan ba sila dapat gamitin. So I hope nakatulong sa inyo ang short video na ito about commonly confused words. So napakadami pa ng mga commonly confused words pero ang focus natin ngayon ay yung apat na pairs muna. So sana naunawaan ang ating mga idiniscuss at sa susunod ulit, thank you for watching. Bye!